For how long can a DHCP client use an IP address? A year? Well, whatever that value might be is finally determined in the DHCP acknowledgement message during the exchange process. When a DHCP client successfully obtains IP configuration parameters, it sets various timers to monitor the lease. That is, the period over which these parameters can be used by the client. We'll look at this in today's presentation. Hello guys, we'll talk about DHCP timers. A DHCP client that has obtained IP configuration parameters from a DHCP server with no IP conflict will initialize its TCP IP protocol stack with a new configuration and enter a binding state with the server. It will also set three timers to monitor the process of lease renewal, lease rebinding, and lease expiration. These values may be requested by the client during the exchange process or specified in the server configuration. We'll describe the entire process using a default scenario. The default lease time for IP configurations obtained from a DHCP server is 24 hours. This corresponds to the value of the lease expiration timer which controls lease expiration. Other timers are lease renewal timer and lease rebinding timer. The DHCP lease renewal timer controls lease renewal. The default value is 50% of the lease, that is, half of the lease expiration time. After this period, a DHCP client will enter a renewing state where it will contact the server that allocated its configuration information by sending a DHCP request message in unicast mode to the server. It does this a request for the extension of its lease. It will remain in this state until it receives a DHCP acknowledgement message from the server, after which it enters the binding state and resets its timers. However, if this client receives a DHCP negative acknowledgement message, it enters the initializing state and restarts the DHCP cycle. Moving on, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video like this one. The final timer is the DHCP lease rebinding timer, which controls lease rebinding. The default value is 87.5% of the lease, that is, after the first half of the last quarter of the lease expiration time. This timer expires when a DHCP client does not receive any response from a DHCP server after sending multiple DHCP request messages for its lease extension. This will cause the DHCP client to move from a renewing state to a rebinding state. In this state, it will no longer send unicast messages requesting for its lease extension. Instead, it will broadcast the DHCP request message on the local network segment requesting for lease extension. It will remain in this state until it receives a DHCP acknowledgement message where it will reset its timers and enter the binding state with the DHCP server that acknowledged this request for lease extension. However, if the DHCP client receives a DHCP negative acknowledgement message instead, it must stop using this address and return to the initializing state. Here, it will restart the DHCP cycle. In the event, though, that the client still does not receive a response after many attempts and the lease expiration timer expires, the client must stop using this IP configuration and return to the initializing state, thus restarting the DHCP cycle. We'll discuss DHCP other messages in the next video. Until then, please subscribe and turn on bell notifications. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.